If you've just purchased the vitamin D test kit that allows you to test your patient's vitamin D levels within 15 minutes, I'm actually gonna show you in this video what comes in the kit and how to use it. So first, we've got your test strips and you've got your reader. Now, your reader comes in two separate parts. You've got the data cable, which connects up to your computer, your actual physical reader, and the cassette. This cassette fits the reader in and also fits the test strip in. When you see the video, you'll see how we use it. You'll also receive a USB stick. This USB stick's got the software that you need to install into your computer to allow you to read your client's test results. And then your vitamin D test strips. In your box of test strips, you will receive your capillaries. These are actually what allow you to collect the blood from your client's finger, for example. It looks a bit like this. And then you've got your sample collecting tubes. These are pre-filled with the vitamin D buffer solution. The solution is what uh, splits the blood and allows us to test for vitamin D. And then you receive 25 vitamin D test strips. And these test strips are all adorned with different lot IDs and reference numbers. And in the packet of vitamin D test strips, you will also receive your RFID card. This card programs the vitamin D reader and allows it, the reader to understand it's going to be doing a quantitative vitamin D test. And each of this RFID card correlates with the test strips. So for every pack of 25 test strips you order, you will receive a lot specific RFID card. So once you've bought the test kit and the reader, part of the process is that we will train you up and we actually give you a one-to-one -one presentation. And on that one-to-one -one presentation, we will work with you to help you set up the software and set up your reader and device. Now, I've got my reader and my software ready to go. And all I'm gonna do is clear my desk, make sure everything is completely clear, and I'm just gonna perform this test. I have my test strip ready to go, my RFID card, my sample collection, which I've taken the metal film off, and my capillary to collect the blood and I also have my specific lancet. We normally recommend the 2.4G lancet to get a nice clean droplet of blood. Now to start, I'm gonna first remove my test strip from its case. And if you look at the cassette, it's got the correct shape of where the test strip should be placed. The cassette goes over the test strip when you're performing the test. However, for the start of it, we're gonna leave it completely apart. So the next step is to clean the hand. Now what I'm gonna do is perform the test on myself. So normally if I was perform performing the test on someone else, I will be wearing gloves for my own safety. But because I'm doing it myself, I'm not gonna wear gloves for the purpose of this video. So all I wanna do is just wipe the hands down to make sure that there's no uh, germs or bacteria on the hands. So I wanna make sure we clean the fingers down. Now, when we perform the test, we normally aim for the for the middle or the ring finger. And if we aim for the middle finger or the ring finger, we puncture on the side of the finger. And always make sure you've got tissue ready to go because what we're gonna do is we're gonna wipe the first droplet of blood. So now let me perform the test. So I take my, take my lancet, open it. My collection device is ready the, with the uh, buffer solution in. And then all I'm gonna do is puncture the side of the hand here. So you'll, you'll see, and you can see that there's a small droplet of blood. Now, one of the biggest mistakes people make is when they're taking the finger prick, they will try and squeeze from here. You shouldn't do that. It's not a glucose test. You want the blood to come out naturally and let it, let it flow through correctly. Because if you squeeze it, you can actually squeeze fatty acids and if you squeeze fatty acids, it will actually ruin the test. When we get that first droplet of blood, we want to wipe just to get rid of the fatty acids and any calcium. And now we can see that my finger is starting to produce a lot of blood. And if, there, if the blood isn't flowing correctly and we want to try and increase this, we can just squeeze from the first knuckle here just to increase that blood flow. And as you can see, we're waiting for a nice big thick, two to three millimeter thick blood, blood drop. And as we can see, that's a nice big blood drop now. So we get the capillary and from an angle on the side here, we just hold it nearby and that's it. We've got 
the blood draw done correctly. The capillary is nice and full. What I would do then is get the tissue, wrap it around the client's finger and ask them to hold their hand like this. So now that we've got the blood sample, the way we mix the solution, we mix the blood with the buffer is we put the capillary in, making sure we don't touch the sides. We then close this together. You put it between your two fingers like this. And then what we're going to do is create centrifugal force. And what centrifugal force does is pulls the blood from the capillary into the buffer solution and mixes it. And the way we do that is we hold it like this and we flick. And now you can see that the solution is mixed perfectly. You can see that the orientation is correct alongside the test strip there. And it's the same with the vitamin D reader. There's a bit of a groove here, so it makes sure that it fits correctly when holding in the cassette. So now we're gonna put the sample into the sample inlet. There's your control line and there's your test line. This is what the device reads. It reads that test line. So you pop the lid off like this, and then all we do is turn it into a 90 degree angle and we take add three drops. So one, two, three. Make sure the reader is in the correct orientation and you can see the on sign. You then hold this down for two seconds and it will display RFID. You tap the RFID card and then tap test and it will start counting down. Now, if we draw your attention back to the test strip, you can see that the blood is now being pulled through. And all we need to do is replace, put the cassette on top of the vitamin D test strip. And then we just take the reader and place this on top of the cassette. If you take the reader off, you can see that the control and test line is still coming through. Once the reader is placed on top, you can then just disappear and carry on with the rest of your day. There is no interference needed. The vitamin D test is now running and it will run by itself without any intervention necessary. And you'll see the results display across the screen. Now this screen's quite small, so you don't really need to check the results on there. The results will then be put onto the computer. To do this, we would simply click on read data from VHC reader. To clear this and to begin a new test, all we simply do is press the button. Now that the vitamin D test is done, we can remove the reader, take away the cassette, and we can now dispose of the test strip.